1200 craftsmen 12 long years of sheer penance built a masterpiece that got etched in the annals of time the sun temple of konark konark is in orissa an eastern regional province of india overlooking the mighty bay of bengal lying on the east west axis of the path of the sun the temple was built in praise of the sun god considered to be the primal source of energy the temple was built on a model of a chariot that is about to make its first flight a chariot that is being pulled by seven horses and 24 wheels each horse denotes a day of the week and each wheel the hours of a day made in black stone its walls adorn intricate designs and a rich variety of motifs every day the sun rises up the horizon from the nearby sea bathing the monument with its soft warm ray the monument used to look so bright and massive that the ships traveling in the nearby sea used it as a landmark the sailors named it black pagoda with the passage of time the chariot has moved ravages of time and gusty sea wind have swallowed the main sanctum sanctorum what exists today is the mukshala the entrance canopy and the nata mandira the dance arena but what remains still reminds of a bygone era that was grand majestic and glorious but the glory of konark is eternal the tradition of master craftsmanship is still alive it is alive in the hands of the craftsmen who live in the hamlets around considered as the descendants of the same line who built this monument 800 years ago they still carve poetry on stone Konark's heritage is alive in another form too, Orissi dance. Motifs of amorous union, maternal adoration, obsession of youth. Its architectural semiology inherits the alluring dance form of Orissi. Contours on the stone manifests the nuances of dance silhouettes. Gunark depicts the form. Perhaps this is the only confluence where performing art meets architecture. 